What is the true cost of buying a house? A lot of times you'll hear realtors talk about no money down mortgages, 100% financing. But what does that really mean? We're going to talk today about the true cost of buying a home. Number one, you're going to have lender fees. Typically, a lender is going to charge an origination fee. There's often an underwriting fee, credit report fees, discount points if you're going to buy down your rate. You're going to have appraisal fees. Obviously, a lender is going to order an appraisal to make sure that the house is worth what you're paying for. And oftentimes, that appraisal fee has to be paid up front. So that can be anywhere from $400 to $700, depending on where the house is. You're also going to have escrow fees. So if you're not putting at least 20% down on your mortgage, then your lender is going to escrow your taxes and insurance. That means they're going to include those amounts in your monthly payment to ensure that your taxes and your homeowner's insurance is getting paid on a yearly basis. The escrow fees are going to include one year of homeowner's insurance because you're going to pay for that first year up front. Usually that'll be included in your closing cost. It's not like you have to go to the insurance company and pay that out of your pocket before you get the house. So they're going to pay for one year of homeowner's insurance and then the taxes are going to have to be set up as well. So if you have city and county taxes, you know, they'll have to collect so many months to have in reserve for that. Typically, if you're doing an escrow, once a year, you're going to get an escrow statement and that may adjust your monthly payment a little bit if your insurance goes up or your taxes go up or if they go down. So even though we talk about no money down mortgages or 100% financing, Normally, as a buyer, you're still going to have some expenses that have to be paid out of pocket. Let's not forget about that. Talk to your mortgage lender. Make sure that you've got the needed money to cover these closing costs. And if not, then we need to talk as your realtor with you to craft an offer that has the seller paying your closing costs for you. If you found this information valuable, leave me a comment. I'm Amy Schrader with REMAX Real Estate 10.